Salut, c'est Kalena, et de retour sur la chaîne pour Gridfall. Un jeu euh, de Spiders. Bon, ça a l'air de ressembler un peu à The Witcher 3. Allez, c'est parti. Alors, option. Ah, difficulté, histoire, normal, difficile, extrême. Bon, on va peut-être pas faire en extrême. On va mettre en normal. Sous-titres, oui, oui. Audio, on va peut-être un petit peu baisser. Voilà. Luminosité, voilà. Alors, équilibre, on doit optimiser compétences, équipement. Ça, comment dire je vais me mettre en histoire finalement. Hop. Par contre. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Alors, sexe, homme, femme, bon, on va prendre une femme. Qu'est-ce qu'elle a sur le cou Ah, c'est une tâche. Ouais, comme ça. Alors, visage. Cheveux. Alors ça c'est très moche comme coupe de cheveux. Ouais. On va garder celle-là. Sourcil. Elle a l'air vénère. Et euh, ah de bouger la tête. Ça, couleur de peau voilà bien blanche couleur de cheveux allez on va faire une, une espèce de Daenerys Targaryen couleur des yeux bleu comme ça ouais c'est joli euh, étape suivante. Alors, choisissez vos compétences de départ selon votre style de jeu. L'art de compétences est ouvert, vous pourrez également débloquer les compétences d'autres archétypes au fil de votre progression. Alors, guerrier, ce profil est axé sur le combat au corps à corps. Compétences de départ, arme d'impact à une main, lame à une main, tir. Attribut recommandé, force constitution, talent recommandé, artisanat vigueur. Alors, contrôle du champ de bataille, projetage et offensive à distance. Moi, je suis une guerrière, 
Voilà. Alors, choisissez un attribut ou investir votre point de départ en fonction du style de jeu qui vous correspond. Alors, on a force, agilité, puissance, précision. Euh, attaque au corps à corps, ok pour manier, mais non. non. Ah, je vais mettre en constitution. Voilà. Alors, choisissez le talent dans lequel investir votre point de départ afin de progresser de manière dans la résolution des quêtes de votre exploration. Le charisme réduit légèrement les prix chez les marchands et améliore un peu les capacités de combat. Science, potion simple, crochetage, intuition, artisanat, vigueur. On va mettre le charisme. Commencez la partie. Oui. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. Uh, that's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you, Her Highness has personally requested I finish this. Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Alors, visible en haut au centre de l'écran, elle indique les lieux importants et les objectifs et les quêtes en cours. Quête principale, quête secondaire. Alors, fais voir un peu la tête que j'ai. Oula. Oula. <rire> Par contre, elle court un peu comme une patate. Wow. Eh, t'as une feuille sur la tête. Madam, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Attendez, parce que... Euh... Je vais un peu la sensibilité, sensibilité de la caméra. Non, c'est pas dans ce sens-là. Ouais. Ouais, là, c'est mieux. Putain. Quand elle court, on a l'impression qu'elle qu a une armure de 20 kg sur le dos. Hey! Green blood! Cut! And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Hmm. 
Attaque principale, attaque secondaire. Ok. Je peux pas le. Ah si. Oh, il triche! Pourquoi j'ai les mains électriques là Aïe oh. Alors, L1. Euh, mais je me contre des sorts. Voilà. Voici un raccourci. Oh, ok. À terre, potion assignée en bas. Et tu triches, t'as une armure et une épée à deux mains. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go, fight with honor. Alors déjà un, il triche parce qu'il a plein d'armures et deux, il a une. Une épée à deux mains, c'est facile. Hein Alors, pose tactique. Signé, on va le mettre en haut. Come on, if you're dead. Voilà, technique de la triche. Amène-toi. Amène-toi, mon rue. Les armures. Le niveau d'armure physique est représenté par le bouclier sur la jauge de vie. Ouais. L'armure absorbe une partie des dégâts physiques. Pour briser l'armure, vous devez utiliser une arme d'impact ou certains pièges. Les attaques magiques traversent l'armure. Okay. Ouais, attends, 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 j'étais pas prête. Tiens, bouffe. Tiens. Aïe, j'ai du mal avec les boutons. Hein. Tiens, tiens. Et il se tire. Alors, la furie est un état qui vous permet de lancer une état spéciale qui inflige un bonus de dégâts et déstabilise l'adversaire. Une furie graduée qui augmente lorsque vous attaquez un ennemi, lancez un sort ou parlez des attaques des adversaires vous permet de fuser votre niveau de furie. Sur L2 pour une attaque furie. C'est pas venir celle-là, hein Allez, amène-toi. Oh. 
It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does. And I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On peut choisir. Se plaindre. On va se réjouir. On the contrary. I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Alors lui, il veut se battre avec tout le monde. Elle est disparue. Bonjour. <rire> Et... On peut même pas les frapper. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. On peut courir. Oh, stylé. Oh, c'est joli. Cathy de Brocard. On va visiter un peu avant de partir. Ah Baston Tiens, bouffe Attends, je m'occupe de ta copine, là 
Donne-moi ton argent. Allez, donne. Voilà. Oh, il est une chevalier en argent. Je le prends. Est-ce qu'on peut péter les caisses Non. Oh, un coffre. Potion de magie, préparation, munitions. Bon, je prends tout. Oui. Yeah. Pièce d'or, munitions. C'est dommage qu'on puisse pas aller plus loin. Vous êtes mort Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier. But the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it. De l'âge de juin. Alors, ajouter l'équipe. Alors, niveau de relation... En oh, méfiant. D'accord, il vient avec toi, mais... Euh... Oui, mais je l'ai ajouté. Il vient avec toi, mais il t'aime pas. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. Là, là. Ok. On va parler. Est-ce qu'il nous suit Ouais, c'est bon. accéder directement à la carte de la région. Ouais. Est-ce que j'ai gagné des points Non. Euh... Ah oui, j'ai le DLC. Voilà. Oui, vous avez le DLC à 3 euros. Voilà. Oh, c'est classe. Quand Bien. Non, c'est pas lui. Oui. Ah, joli fusil. 
Alors j'ai un rose, une rapière. Oui, une rapière qui fait du feu. Comment on fait pour déséquiper euh... Attends. Viens. de la vie en pierre, on va mettre ça, voilà. Et ça, c'est le cas. Oh, il y a plein de points. Bon, en fait, on va pas partir tout de suite. Voilà. Ah, méchant. Bonjour. Est-ce que vous êtes méchant Non Ah si, vous êtes méchant. And death to the others. Tiens, 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 bouffe ça. Tiens, tiens, tiens. Voilà. On se calme, on se calme. Pot qui fume, voilà, les étagères vides. Là, on peut pas rentrer. Là non plus. Et ça, ça devait être punk. Bonjour, je peux fouiller chez vous Pardon, c'est pousse. Non, là on peut pas passer. Le mec, il a quand même mis une chaîne. Hein. Je pense que c'est dans les meubles. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure Ah, c'est Richelieu. Je vais vous informer que mon cousin Constantin et moi are departing for Tear for D on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time 
far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You were hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. <sighs> Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. How is Teleme faring on Tirfridi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tirfridi? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Moi, j'ai écouté qu'à moitié. Alors. Donc, aller faire vos adieux, c'est bon. Rejoindre, c'est bon. Prévenir l'ambassadeur, c'est bon.
Donc il faut prévenir l'ambassadeur de l'alliance du pont. Euh... Alors, chasse aux hérétiques. Trouver le passeur. On va essayer de chasser les hérétiques. C'est à 146 mètres dans sa direction. Il manque quelque chose hein Ok. Le merchant est là. Ah. Bonne fille, ma fille. Oh la vache. Comment je peux être de Vous pouvez commencer par expliquer à moi pourquoi vous refusez d'honorer les ordres agréés avec le garde. Il y a eu une mauvaise misunderstanding, madame. Bien sûr, nous sommes prêts à honorer les ordres. En fait, j'ai déjà eu une parole avec votre master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. On va demander des, des explications. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. On se calme. Je vais frapper dans la bouche sinon. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise, if these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Alors, on a le charisme. On peut lui proposer de l'argent, même pas en rêve. Ou on le menace. On va essayer le charisme. I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sardé, niece of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable, especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, As orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... Oh. As oui. you request, my lady, I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Tu vois, c'est pas peine de frapper tout le monde. Et c'est moi qui dis ça. Pourquoi ça brille? Alors, attends. Oui, on va chasser les hérétiques. On va aller chasser les hérétiques. Allez. Attends, parce qu'il est où l'autre? Il est pas marqué l'autre. Euh... Ouais, mais c'est dans l'autre sens. On va aller d'abord chasser les hérétiques. Oh, ça, on peut rentrer Non, on peut pas rentrer. Ok, 
quartier du port. Euh... Ouais. C'est quoi Capitainerie, entrepôt, 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 prison, prison. Ce qu'on va faire, c'est qu'on va aller par là. Euh, zone contrôlée par d'autres factions. Ces zones se contrôlent d'une autre faction que la vôtre. C'est un lieu où vous intervenez. Une tenue torse de la faction peut vous permettre de tromper les gardes. Vous pouvez évidemment tenter l'approche furtive. Attaquer à vue. Ok. Donc là, on peut pas y aller, quoi. Bon. Parlez à Monsieur de Courcillon. Je vais d'abord aller parler au mec là-bas. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sardé, the prince's niece. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Surrey? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. Miss Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Lauro. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers? Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Hmm. Est-ce que je lui évite d'en dire trop? Est-ce que je lui fais confiance? Oh, il a une bonne tête. A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We of course refused entry, 
Only the Norbs have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a Nort? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Norts master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Could you tell me anything about our destination? The island of Tiafredi? It is a magnificent place. Wild. Spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They were very friendly people, welcoming. That will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous. But I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Nords. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime lore holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Hello. Euh, on va rester sur celle-là. C'est là-haut. C'est là-bas. Ah, ça brille. Juste en face. Bonjour. You cannot pass. Only the Norts have access to the prison. On va faire le tour. On va faire le tour. Il n'y a pas d'autre passage, putain. Par contre... Si on va aider le nôtre, peut-être qu'il nous filera un costume de nôtre. Et là, on pourra rentrer. Attends, parce qu'il y a plein de trucs, là. Ça c'est l'ambassadeur. Où se trouve Constantin. Disparition du mousse. J'adore les RPG mais quand il y a 50 milliards de trucs à faire là c'est compliqué. C'est pas par là. Voir comment tu cours. Non. Non, toi. Non. The hiding place of this smuggler is filthy. But perhaps we'll 
discover some useful information. Déjà, je vais piller ton coffre. Les nouveaux clients se sont présentés. Ils veulent rejoindre Al Saad et mon acquisition au trous. D'après ceux, d'après eux, ce qui ne va pas me faciliter la tâche. Je pense pouvoir les aider à grimper sur le navire discrètement. Il va falloir le jouer fine. J'espère qu'ils seront discrets et patients. Je vais les bloquer dans notre pot derrière la capitainerie où les inquisiteurs ne sont pas entrés. Il y a d'autres qui brillent. Se déguiser en loot. Flavia. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who was gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? Well, ça va être long, hein? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, as far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. If the itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him, as you'd guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. Uh. Huh? Je veux juste aller voir. Donc j'ai le cabane marin. Donc si je m'habille comme ça, on va pouvoir passer dans la prison. Pas des trucs là. Ah Prends tout. Et on peut grimper.
Pourquoi il y a un trou dans la porte hein Ouh là là Bon, on va d'abord aller parler à la. Non, non. On va d'abord aller à la prison. Parce que je sens que ça va m'emmener loin cette histoire. Can I do for you? We're your replacements. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. Là, je peux passer. Prison des notes. Bonjour. I've seen a few escapes in my time, but I never thought I'd see someone to this trouble to break into a prison. Alors, utilisez la clé. I don't have the key. Locked. Wow. Bonjour, est-ce que l'un de vous a la clé Bon. The illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison. But reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerns the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias? The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master? The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Teofredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. 
This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could. Forget what you have discovered, perhaps? Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text, or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. <sighs> Alors soit je les arrête mais ils ont rien fait. Je vois pas. Je peux parler avec le bon docteur Sahin, l'ambassadeur de la Bridge Alliance. Si il peut être convaincu de vous offrir un asylum, vous seriez sauvé. Votre goodness honore vous. May the illuminated forever light your path. Si je manage à convaincre l'ambassadeur, vous allez devoir refraîner de ce genre de blessing. Restez ici. Je vais revenir. Je reviendrai. Allez, on y va. Euh, en fait, j'ai pas parlé euh... courte. Green blood. Do you need something? S'il s'est déjà senti seul. I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why do you want to rectify this? I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And these memories I hold dear. You've always been extraordinary, Greenblood. But I had to watch over you. You were my responsibility. That didn't leave us much time for friendship. What about now? Now? I hope that we'll have more time. Anything else? I must leave you. Bon. Alors. On va aller voir l'ambassadeur. Il est où le troisième ah. Voilà. Alors... Euh... Par là. Oh, 
Oh, c'est sympa ça. Comme ça, t'as pas besoin de te taper le. La lecture des panneaux. Ça brûle les gens. Your Excellency. Lady Dussard. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is taking office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Alors, ce mec a une armure comme celle de Geralt. Regardez. Regardez le haut, on dirait l'armure de Geralt. Alors, de l'autre pour les historiens. Je voudrais vous parler d'un sujet très délicat. Je vous écoute. Un couple d'historiens ont fait une récente découverte concernant Matthias, le fondateur de la mythique de Thélémy. Et il semble que ce n'est pas à la liking des illuminés. Ou au moins ses plus fervents subjects. Ces sinister hypocrites vont vouloir les brûler à la stake. Sans doute. Et c'est pourquoi ces pauvres personnes ont besoin de vous offrir un asile. Je vous offrirai un asile. I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good deed deserves another. You would like me to first take care of your charlatan. You will certainly prove to be an excellent legate. Bon. M'interroger sur l'alchimiste. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of her allies. The alliance was sealed by several nations of the bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. 
A legate needs yeah. to know the history and the alliance. The great blah, blah, blah. Our and of course, today, each day. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tirfredi for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. And what of your war with Teleme? It has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. Did you reconsider the request for asylum for the historians that I spoke to you about? I believe I already told you that the affair would be taken care of as soon as you... Okay, okay, Alibaba, on se calme. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. Je vais aller m'occuper de ton alchimiste, t'inquiète pas. Alors... Euh, le charlatan, hop. Il est où Là-bas. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little phial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. 
except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. The speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Euh, moi je fais pas confiance à un mec qui a les dents ultra blanches mais qui a les ongles dégueulasses. Ça fait quoi si je parle au passant d'abord Ouais. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Uh... We'll demand a demonstration. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. <laughs> Come on now. I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his car. Il va faire le tour. Ah, oh, plein de trucs à faucher. Euh, cahier de recherche alchimique. Ces pages sont couvertes d'une petite écriture de millésiles, des comptes rendus d'expérience, d'observations de patients, des symboles incompréhensibles. Cependant, la complexité de certaines recettes ne laisse aucun doute. Son auteur est un vétéran alchimiste possédant son mélange de connaissances. Note de l'aubergiste à la servante. Louise, ce rôle d'alchimiste de l'Alliance qui a loué la chambre à l'étage a demandé spécifiquement à ce qu'on ne la nettoie pas durant son séjour. Ce vieux fou doit craindre qu'on lui casse ses fioles ou je ne sais quoi. Alors laisse-toi mariner dans sa crasse, le client est roi. Tiens, bouffe Tiens, ça va aussi Tiens Agilité, force, puissance, monde. Sion, talent. Science. Ah, j'ai pas de points. Ah, là, j'ai un point. Donc, j'ai arme à une main. Arme à deux mains. Tir. Piège. Anneau de magie divine. Stase. On a vu que j'utilise beaucoup la reine. Voilà. Et là, j'ai pas de point. Oh, ok. A 
Have you finally made up your mind? Hmm. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it? You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I am gladly returning your vial. So that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I, you don't have the right. Damnation, he got a, he can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Voilà, c'est ça ce qui arrive quand on laisse ses papiers traîner. Bonjour. La résolution des enquêtes, des quêtes. Dans une fois, une quête peut généralement s'ajouter de plusieurs manières différentes. De sarder à plusieurs fois à son art. Ruf, persuasion, instruction, corruption, création de jeux via l'artisanat et la science sont autant de moyens disponibles pour arriver à vos fins. Pour vous améliorer dans ces domaines, investissez des points depuis l'arbre de talent correspondant aux portées des équipements offrant les bonus. La menace et le combat sont aussi envisageables lorsque vos arrivées ne sont pas réceptifs à vos talents. Attends, il y a un truc qui brille. Il y a des gens, ils laissent du pognon comme ça. Bonjour. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? Ah, on peut l'entendre. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantin. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. Oh, the father has forgotten to give his daughter her allowance, it would seem. No, je donne pas mon argent comme ça. How is business going these days? It's picking up. We've not seen many new customers, but of late things are looking better. The Malicor and the neighboring walls have dampened commerce. The epidemic still rages, but the possibility of finding a cure on that island has given people something to hope for. Now that we have a city there, quite a few seafarers come by to spend their wages. Has the Malakor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness began to spread, a wave of panic followed in its wake. People stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People were still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. The city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard some stories about Tear 
Right. Even stories that my heaviest drinkers would have trouble believing. They say that man trees live there. Dragons and gigantic creatures. Treasure abounds under every rock. And the source of eternal life is hidden somewhere there. <laughs> Last night, some noughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts into the port. Ah, oh, but you know the kind. If you ask my opinion, the drink was fueling their imaginations. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Uh, ah. This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. Euh... Ah, un établi. Comme par hasard, il y a un établi quand tu sors. Euh, L'artisanat vous permet d'améliorer les armes et armures. La science permet de fabriquer les potions et les pièges. Montez vos talents. Utilisez les mains. Oui. Alors, euh, on se calme, mémé. Hein oui, bon. Ça sert un peu à rien. Euh... Alors. Non, je veux la carte. Mais. Euh... Il n'y a pas un truc là C'est du coursillon. Ils ont trouvé les charlottes. Où il est On va le payer avec ses propres pourboires, voilà. Well then, were you able to repair it all? No, I haven't been able to sort them out. In that case, you need to pay me, my lady. Tiens, t'es pour boire. Here you are, to cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books makes for honest friendships. <laughs> your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. Insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. 
they're not the tender sorts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? Oui, t'aurais pas vu un charlatan. No. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Hello, Your Excellency. It is an honor. Have a nice day, madam. On peut grimper. Vas-y, grimpe. Et ben voilà, il est là. Ah mais il me dit qu'il est là le charlatan. Tavern keeper. I need to be off. Goodbye. Bon. mission peut-être que ça débloquera quelque chose Good day sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine deaf winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and poof. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me, but my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were, and I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. 
Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you, the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? <sighs> it's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Au point de départ, hein. Tavern keeper. I oh, see so you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I am looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who has been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping in my establishment? You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? Hmm? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No, have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I'm here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing that, I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A money lender? No, my lady. You're in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs. 
just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulemi Embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Might I help you, my lady? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. C'est quoi ces divers? Catherine de Médicis. Allez, c'est parti. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lady de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We are looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. Quoi, le gamin? I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? <laughs> these witnesses are all in agreement, and it is their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact... It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. C'est louche, c'est louche. Bon, faut aller où On trace des notes.
Ouais. Ça brille. Attends, ça brille. Là. Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy, but we will have to do without. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you ah, ça nous l'a déjà dit. Ah, attends. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a Nord. Our ships are his home. We are his only family. <sighs> you haven't heard anything about my cousin. To be honest. Did you say he was my men that Let's... happy? No. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a naught? Sir de Corsillon is a veritable well of scientific knowledge. He could tell us a little more. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. T'inquiète, t'inquiète, on va la retrouver. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Nords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there's always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such accord, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son in an agreement signed between my uncle and the Nords? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Euh, 
Euh, par contre, il y a un moyen de sauvegarde. Ouais. Ça, ça fait deux heures que je joue, mais j'ai pas sauvegardé. J'aimerais que vous prépariez plusieurs repas et menez aux entrepôts que nous possédons sur le canal. Mon époux va devoir y travailler avec son commis et ses hommes pour quelques jours. Et de moment, face à sa fin, soyez discrète. Ce document mentionne une autre propriété. Une warehouse. Ça serait un grand endroit pour hide. Shall we take a peek? Ouais, Allons-y. Fontaine won't be alone. He'll have his henchmen with him. Let's just try to remain discreet. On peut descendre et on peut monter. On va descendre d'abord. On va monter. On va monter. On va monter. Il n'y a rien qui brille Non et là on peut pas passer. Tu veux pas te pousser Mais il y a une porte. Lady de Sade, what are you doing here? I have come looking for your son. The Norts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Norts took him from us, but now we've got him back, and he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? Hello. On va lui dire ce que Monsieur Coursier. I looked into the contract that binds you to the Norts. It was indeed you who ceded your son to them in exchange for help with your business with the bridge. It is... It is so. But that sort of contract is ignoble. I never would have signed it if I had known. You should have thought of that before. Breaking the contract could have regrettable consequences for the congregation. The prince will know how to negotiate with the Norts. If they take my son back, my wife will die of sadness. Her sadness would be all the more terrible if she learned of your role in this story. Don't you think? You wouldn't dare tell her. I, I beg you. You were not leaving me with a choice. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. My name is Desade. I am legate of the congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I hadn't seen them since I was five years old. 
I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the noughts. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yes. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to your ship. I will see you there. Voilà. Ah C'est pas juste. Vous voyez bien, j'aurais dû prendre crochetage. It's not possible just now. Ah, on peut péter le mur. Là, hmm. ah, il y a quoi Ah bon ça va. Non. Ah voilà, on peut passer à travers le dessus du mur. Voilà. Allez. Lady Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes, we were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me, I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh... If he finds an alternative solution that is less, uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Okay. On va y aller. Saut aussi, machin. Là. Ah ouais, il monte aussi. <rire> Madam, you still haven't found your cousin. Oui, oui, on va le trouver. My cabin boy. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. 
I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. <sighs> Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? <sighs> Listen here. I haven't forgotten what you did for our Jonas. I would gladly do you the favor, but my quartermaster is more stubborn than the tide. He is convinced that thugs want to use our vessel to bring who knows what aboard. And, because of that, he's placed guards to watch over the registered merchandise before they're loaded up. All that I can do for you is to write your crates into the ship's manifest. If you manage to get them into the warehouse, they'll find their way into the ship's hold. And with the manifest, the crazy Gustavo won't see nothing but smoke. Please try and avoid roughing up those brave guards. They are my fellow Norts, after all. Be back soon, Captain. Bon, bah, je me suis apparemment déjà débarrassé des gardes de l'entrepôt. Informer les porteurs. Ah ouais, c'est les deux, deux mecs que j'ai envirés tout à l'heure. Captain, milady, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move at all. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Euh, faut parler à l'intendant. Où il est Pourquoi il n'apparaît pas sur son... ça là Non, ça c'est l'ambassadeur de l'Alliance. Trouver le charlatan. Bon, on va faire le charlatan parce que c'est minerve ce charlatan. Locked. Attends, attends, ça brille. de la réserve de l'aubergiste. Ah mais ces gens qui laissent traîner leurs clés partout. Hein. Tiens, tiens, tiens. Euh, 
You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that's found you. Have you seen the mob that's gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce. And he's the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology, I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use as experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice. But it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. <coughs> I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps. But you are hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So... What are you gonna do with me, my lady? I'm going to help you leave the city. But you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Et c'est là que la clé de l'aubergiste va nous aider. The servants locked. Mais non, mais attaque pas. Range ça. The key to the tavern. Si 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 je lui répare ses meubles, il me rend mon argent ou pas? Non, je veux pas les négocier avec la foule en colère. Voilà. You'd never guess they were once broken. Rends-moi mon argent. Tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Me. Rends-moi mon argent.
Let's go and find the alchemist. We need to get him out of here as fast Allez, as we parti. can. Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes. I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being skinned alive by the mob? You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. I hope we don't run into any unhappy patients. passer bien sûr est-ce qu'il monte au dessus des murs le charlatan t'inquiète ah bouffe Allez, on y va. l'alchimiste wow, merci pour le niveau 3 fouille fouille ah. On fouille et j'avais vu un coffre On fouille voilà alors Je vais trop loin. Parce qu'en plus, il faut faire tout le tour. Finally, I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back and stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson anytime soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Farewell, my lady. Whoa, 80 pièces d'or. Allez. On va aller jouer. Hmm. Ok, on a été, on a été téléporté. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. T'excites pas, Alibaba. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? 
Let's just say that I've put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He managed to slip through our fingers. Once again. That man is part eel. We followed his trail to the Coin Guard Tavern, but he had already escaped. All the same, you have nothing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. <sighs> we'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Familiar Ada. Lady. Cinquante balles. T'as pas honte? Hein? Alors. Hein? Non, c'est pas un gift. Attribue pas de points. Alors. Euh... On peut faire des roulades. C'est quoi ça euh... C'est pas pratique. C'est pas pratique. Descend. <rire> voilà. Donc ensuite, est-ce que j'ai pas un truc euh... Non. Comme on disait, c'est moche. Donc, euh, ah oui, croyez quoi lui Your Excellency, Lady de Sade. Now that your affair is taken care of, are you planning on helping the historians I spoke to you about We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Hmm. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Allez, on sprint. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Bah, ils ont pris leurs jambes et puis ils ont couru. Alas, these renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The bridge. I thought as much. 
Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Oh, so can. Alors. Attribut. Si. Non, 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 toujours pas. Euh, force. a tout visité il me semble alors que t'es mix pourquoi il apparaît pas celui là Massade, entrepôt, caserne du denier. On va aller là. La famille Fontaine, c'est là. So you're back, right then. What about our business? We can guarantee that your merchandise will leave with us. Ah, thank you, Your Excellency, and bravo, Kurt. The commander will be most pleased. The cargo shall make the voyage. But who will be at its reception once it's arrived? That shall be your next mission. Once you've reached New Serene, go and find the Quartermaster. He will give you new instructions. Until then, I wish you a safe and pleasant voyage, Your Excellency. Kurt, good luck. Donc voilà, ça c'est fait. Est-ce qu'on peut fouiller un peu sa baraque? Non, on peut pas passer. Bon, on va aller chercher Constantin. of a tavern master was right it is constantine's voice it's coming from the floor above sounds as if he's locked up and i have a feeling they're expecting company be careful the slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it negotiation may be the solution as you say this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money what a waste i'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellow 
pourtant il y a un truc qui brille. Alors, où il est Il est là-haut. On va descendre. It's blocked. C'est bloqué. It's not possible just now. Bon, c'est pas possible. On remonte. Ensuite. Alors, lorsque le joueur est en position de furtivité, à une proximité d'un ennemi, l'intérieur de description apparaît sur leur tête. Si votre présence est détectée, l'indicateur. Continuez. L3. Accroupi Woman. Oh putain. Oh putain. Oh putain. Bon, tant pis. Ah, prenez Je vous ai vu. là. Ah si. Voilà. Des bruits courtes. Ouais. Pousse-toi. Utilisez la clé. Non, c'est pas la bonne clé, voilà. Clé de la cellule de Constantin. Non, on se calme. Il n'y aurait pas une petite clé du coffre, non This has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to crush! Constantine, it's me! My fair cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. I do what I can. We are departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. 
enough said. Today we set sail for adventure. Alors, c'est Constantine, équipé Constantine avec sa tenue vieux pour pas vieux pour pas bronzé. If you only knew how these rivers do me a courtesy, fair cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. There's no one left to pay, your highness. The brave Kurt. Si permet, je vais remettre ma tenue euh, de pimp. Really now? <sighs> I would have loved to have seen that. We've nothing left to do then than to board our ship. And adventure voilà. awaits us at the end of the street. Voilà. Bon. C'est pas par là. Ouais. Bon, j'ai pas trouvé la clé. Tu veux pas te pousser, toi Allez, on se tire d'ici. Il y a une suspicion d'une bande de connards qui va arriver. On va sauvegarder. Voilà. C'est toujours les deux là. Ouais. C'est bon, on est tous là. Madame Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. Permission to board the ship. We are ready. Certainly. But keep in mind that we'll be at sea for several months. If you have any farewells to make or any final business to put into order, now is the time. No, my house is in order. We are ready to embark. Perfect. Follow me. I am so eager to discover Tier Freddy. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norts even brought one back in one of their ships. Doubt that. The Norts are strange, but they're not idiots. Est-ce qu'on va affronter la bestiole maintenant ou... Bon, où est-ce qu'on monte dans le bateau là Putain, il fallait descendre tout en bas. Alors par contre, ça, si c'est pas une arène... Ouais, 
On galope un peu. Those conniving, piss-distilling, bridge-building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come now. Let's send them a hand. Ça sent la merde. Protéger le boulet. Oh. Ah, c'est pas ce que je voulais faire. Allez, c'est parti. Non Ah On balance des merdes en plus. Voilà. Non, non, non Là, il faut, bo faut boire un truc là. Ouais. Allez. Oh. Bois Bois une potion Voilà, <rire> un petit coup d'épée dans le cul. Green blood, how do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. Cousin, what a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. I have the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. Euh... Le point de compétence... Ouais, bon, ça, c'est bon. Ouais, bah, yonk. Alors... Même pas eu un petit point de compétence Vas-y, c'est des radars, là. Madam, gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, 
your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. This journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. Charming welcoming committee. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are... Donnez de l'argent. Oui, de l'argent. De l'argent, on veut de l'argent. You were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Cat got your tongue? Gentlemen, would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of co Thank you, dear doctors. Move along. Go and trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. No, not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are! To your health! Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency, lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence! We must wait for our escort! No need! Have no fear, for I am here to defend you, my lady. I've been scullied. How so? My admiral laid me off. 
My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope that there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. Donc on a euh, Court et maintenant on a Vasco de Gama. Allez, c'est parti. Alors. Ah, talent. Pourquoi ça en plus ça On va faire du crochetage. Hein. Voilà. Prochain niveau 9. Et ça. Voilà. De Sarde, can I do anything for you? You seem to be mad at me for some reason. Do you still resent the fact that I called your ship a boat? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobility makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I was rude. Did my charm make you change your mind? And I was starting to believe that you were different. Did you want anything else? How did you become an old? As you may have guessed, I am sea given. I was given to the Norths when I was a little child for a reason I ignore. I think I was originally from the congregation, but I have no memory of my family. I took my first steps on the deck of a ship. That's all I can remember. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Bon, c'est comme dans Mass Effect, faut parler aux gens. Green blood. Do you need something? Mais lui, il veut pas parler. I must leave you. Alors... grand et oui j'ai quartier de cuivre Excellency, welcome back to my modest shop. It is an immense honor for me to be of service to some. On fout. Alors, vendre. Je peux acheter une hache. Ça déjà mon Très classe ça, très discret. Un autre du moins de combattant, dégâts magiques. Un autre du moins de dégâts magiques.
à nous consacrer les gars magiques. Euh... Potion de soin. Pour ces 6. Voilà. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. C'est traîner les trucs comme ça. Hein. Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the continent. Tear for the alcohol. Attention, soldier. Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> Whatever could be so funny. Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnir. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. And so you're a princess, then? A what? Let her pass. Your Majesty, I shall present you to the Governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help. Pourquoi elle a la même truc que, que moi sur le visage? Euh... Alors on va dégager lui. Honor Manawi, do you need something? The first time you saw me, did you really think I was a native? Aside from the way you dress, you resemble a native. I have never seen an Honor Manawi amongst the Renagse before. Is it so surprising that I made this mistake? No, but I find it unsettling. On the continent, everyone looked at me as if I was this strange beast. And here, people think that I'm a native, despite the fact that I know almost nothing of your culture. I understand that it might be a strange experience, but you should wear these marks with pride. Because they are the marks of the Onol Manawi. Those whose flesh is bonded to Tyr Fredi. This makes us closer. Anything else? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago. But this memory is still painful. So we usually avoid the subject. What happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Donc je suis du coin avec ma tâche. Green blood. Do you need something? Et lui, il veut toujours pas parler. Domestique. 
quand je vous dis que ça sert de piller. y aller c'est grand chez eux par là What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Maal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike you could be related. If you would allow me, princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, Speak your peace. The lions. 
The Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire. The time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, fair cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, fair cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. <laughs> Ouais, monsieur a son petit trône et tout. Voilà. Je crois que les tableaux sont stylés. Hein. Bon, on va arrêter là pour aujourd'hui. Hein. On a fait euh, presque 3 heures de tournage en rond. J'adore les RPG. <rire> bon, allez, à plus